everyone, with this video I'm launching a series of quick tip videos as commercial property law can get dual at times. The idea behind a quick tip video is to give a small but to the point amount of information that can be absorbed quickly. I hope you find them useful and maybe use them as a learning aid. In this video, I will talk briefly about the effect of surrender on subleases. Where there is an existing sublease in place and the head lease is surrendered, the subtenant will become the immediate tenant of the hand landlord. The subtenant will continue to occupy the premises in accordance with the terms of his sublease. This is so even if the sublease was created in breach of covenant. This also would be the case on the surrender and regrant of the head lease. The subtenant would continue to hold the sublease as if the surrender had never taken place. There may be a scenario where the head landlord does not wish to assume responsibility for the sublease and requires a full surrender with vacant possession. The tenant would then need to talk to the subtenant to ascertain if the subtenant would be prepared to terminate their sublease.